Don't let your AC system get knocked down by the heat this upcoming summer. Call KS Services and let our team come take a look. We repair and install all makes and models. We even offer a free no hassle quote and second opinion, so give us a call today. With our flexible financing, you can literally pick your payment. We may even be able to help you knock down that utility bill a bit. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, May the 27th. Ah, the end of May showing up. And uh, we certainly do have a lot of weather to talk about, thanks to the formation of Tropical Storm or Subtropical Storm Alberto right now. Satellite image, our view from space, shows that we are being influenced by the storm, which is uh, off the coast of Florida between Tampa and Fort Myers. It is expected to stay west of the state of Florida, but of course it's impacting it just because the state is that close. Our uh, surface map still features large high pressure out in the Atlantic, and that is bringing that uh, warm, moist air across the southeastern U.S. And of course, the tropical storm Alberto will produce uh, or bring additional tropical moisture with it. Our upper air uh, pattern at 500 millibars, roughly about 20,000 feet, and you can see the the little weakness that we've had uh, over the area, and that is broadening as it picks up on uh, the low pressure and the development of Alberto. Temperatures across central Alabama generally around the 70 degree mark this morning, but those dew points staying way up in the mid and upper 60s. Radar fairly free, but we do see uh, coming off the west coast of Florida, we do see showers and thunderstorms with uh, the main rain area associated with Alberto. Of course, the southeastern U.S. is pretty uh, much standing out with uh, high wind uh, concerns in the Gulf of Mexico and uh, lots of green over the peninsula of Florida as well as the Florida Panhandle where flash flood watches are in effect. We see flash flood watches also in the Carolinas. The, the orange that you see up there in southern uh, Minnesota and into northwestern Iowa as well as parts of uh, southwest Texas are heat advisories and the uh, red areas in Colorado and New Mexico our high fire danger. QPF, that's one of the dangers right now, and that is uh, Alberto is likely, uh, with the track adjusting a little bit to the east, it's uh, likely to put uh, a heavy band on the order of uh, as much as four to six, maybe as much as seven inches across parts of uh, the eastern half of the state of Alabama as it makes its trek uh, into Middle Tennessee by early Wednesday. The WPC folks have a slight risk of Heavy precipitation, excessive rainfall over uh, Florida and parts of uh, Georgia and the Carolinas, as well as a little bit of southeast Alabama. They go to moderate risk over parts of southeast Alabama, southwest Georgia, and the Florida Panhandle on day two. Uh, that's Monday. And then day three, they still have a slight risk over much of the southeastern U.S. Just like that, the Storm Prediction Center has a slight risk of for storms uh, that could produce severe weather over the Florida Peninsula, as well as another system uh, coming out of the northern Rockies. Now, that system stays put to basically, and we see the risk from the South Dakota down into the Oklahoma Panhandle, and then uh, we see it uh, dip back to marginal, and we have a marginal risk over the southeast. All right, there is uh, the satellite image of Alberto. Again, it is off the... Uh, southwest Florida coast, and uh, the track uh, has adjusted overnight a little bit to the east, and uh, so that is taking the, uh, the concerns away from uh, the Mississippi coast. They're still under a tropical storm watch over there, but you can see the blue area, tropical storm warnings from about Mobile all the way over uh, to near Fort Myers. Interesting to note that the National Hurricane Center's track is still a little on the western side of the clustering of the ensemble of uh, the various uh, computer models. So we could see some additional um, adjustment to the east. All right, let's get to the models this morning. And there's Alberto coming up into the northeastern Gulf of Mexico in the upper atmosphere. We, of course, we have a nice uh, closed uh, low uh, over that storm. We see the uh, closed low out over the southern Rockies too, producing weather out that way. The uh, closed low at 500 millibars moves closer to the coast uh, on Monday, and basically that's about the time that, uh, about around 2 o'clock, that it's projecting the landfall uh, on the Florida panhandle. The storm uh, progresses uh, basically north, northwest, just a little bit, uh, kind of a, you know, just a little bit to the um, west of north on uh, 
Tuesday. So Tuesday is going to be a very wet day, as Monday is likely to be a pretty wet day for us, too. And you can see on Tuesday just a lot of rain occurring, and the heaviest rain is likely to be just to the uh, east, uh, along the east side of the track, as are the possibilities for isolated uh, tornadoes. The storm finally uh, moves far enough north into the western Ohio River Valley to get picked up by the westerlies, and uh, that will be uh, edging it on out. But in the meantime, uh, it leaves behind a very wet uh, air mass, so afternoon showers likely a possibility. Through Wednesday midday, there's the accumulated precipitation. You can see that uh, along that track, uh, very high amounts. The, uh, the remnants of that uh, storm get caught up in a, a bit of a trough uh, over the central Great Lakes and Lake Michigan there, and uh, that continues to keep us in the tropical air mass down here. But that trough begins to move to the eastern Great Lakes on Friday and dig into uh, the mid-Atlantic states on Saturday. So what that's going to do for us is it should bring us some drier air and maybe Saturday um, if not zero, <laughs> we'll definitely lower the probability of rain uh, to at least 20-30%, uh, but you can see precipitable water values really do drop. Unfortunately, uh, they don't drop uh, um, for very long, uh, but you can see the GFS suggesting that any showers would be outside of that minimum area over north and central Alabama. But unfortunately, all good things come to an end, sometimes all too quickly. We see another uh, little short wave that is coming into the trough over, the, over and along the east coast. And so that system is actually bringing some moisture with it. So uh, chances for rain go up pretty good for uh, Sunday then, you know, go up into the 40, 50, maybe 60 percent range. All right, looking out into voodoo country, and we see that the trough stays with us through Tuesday, the 5th of June. But we do note the uh, heat ridge developing over northern Mexico. And indeed, that pushes up. Uh, you can see that 594 contour pushes up into West Texas and New Mexico and into the central U.S., uh, beginning to show some impact on us by Thursday, the 7th. And then it kind of spreads over the whole southeastern U.S. by uh, Sunday, June the 10th. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. James Spann will be back with the next edition first thing on Monday as we deal with wherever Alberto is headed. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great day and Godspeed. Summer's just around the corner and KS Services wants to be the team ensuring your comfort. We repair and install all makes and models, so give us a call today to get a free, no-hassle second opinion. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.